الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم. Do you have? Please feel free. No, not really. But do you guys uh, do you guys know much about Islam already, or? No, I, uh, the thing is, I can't really ask you questions because I don't know anything. I have a question. Oh, okay, he does. Go ahead. Uh, where is, where is, where can you describe to me what like, the afterlife is like? Excellent, good question. So, this life is only a stage in a series of stages of your life, right? A series of stages. Yes. Okay. For example, as a Muslim belief, we believe before all of this, you were a spirit, a ruh, right? A soul, right? Then you came in the womb of the mother, right? Which this is a state that we know about from, you know, we can see pregnancies and all that. And that's a very different life, right? Like your existence is different from right now. You don't eat the same, you have an umbilical cord, you, you don't talk to people, you don't interact like that, right? You are now in the womb of the mother. That life is about nine months. And then you die from that life, you come to a whole new existence, right? Which you didn't know about. Like in the womb of the mother, the child doesn't know there's a world and streets and cars and drones and planes and all this stuff, right? Yeah. Everything else that you see now is new, right? A new existence comes, right? This is the life of this earth. From this life, you will die. No matter how long you live, you can live 100 years, 200 years, you will die. You'll go into the life of the grave. It's called barzakh. Islamically, we call it barzakh life, right? This is a whole new existence now. You will not be the way you are. Your body will deteriorate, but your ruh, your soul will be there. Then you will be raised on the day of judgment with a new body. Right now, this is another life, the akhirah, the hereafter, and that is an everlasting life. And you will stand for your account, for your deeds, in front of Allah, in front of your God, in front of the Creator. Right? And when you give your account, then there are two destinations: either eternal bliss, a beautiful paradise that you can't imagine, a different level of existence, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has thought, or an eternal damnation. Right? Hell, may Allah protect us from it. Right? This life is that test phase. See, you're not here on accident. This was written for you that you would come and you would hear this message. Now, now the question is, do you just ignore it and say, you know what, I don't really care enough to read? Or do you really think, why am I in this planet? Is there a purpose to my creation? What is the Quran? What is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? What are his miracles? What are the miracles of the Quran? So you can recognize your creator and the reason for your creation. Okay. Good? That's very good. Thank you. What, what, what? What, what, is, what is life like after the... After the so, I mean, none of us have been there right. after life and yeah. come back, right. but right. what we know from the Qur'an, yeah. that there are two destinations, right? Okay. In heaven, you will not live as you live here, right? Okay. There's no death, there's no sickness, okay. you'll be with your family, different level of existence. The Qur'an right. says no imagination can even imagine, right? Okay. Because it, it's like explaining to the baby in the womb what this life is like, right? Okay. Like if you go to the baby when it's still in the womb of the mother and you try to explain how planes work, Right? Well, you can only give examples, right? Because you can't, they haven't seen it. So we can give examples. There are beautiful rivers of honey and, and things, but those are all imthal, examples, right? But this is a beautiful life. That's where our everlasting life should be. Okay. So, right? so you guys don't know what's in there. You guys know that. You, but you guys well, we do, but we can't, we can't give you like, uh, we can give you examples, right? Oh, interesting. Right? Because it is an existence past our imagination but okay. we can tell you that for example you'll live forever okay. you'll see your creator you'll see god you'll see allah okay. you'll see your family other people whoever is in heaven makes it to heaven okay. you will see them you will interact with them okay. you will eat you will sleep but not in the way of this world like you will not have sickness you will not have misery because this is a temporary abort like here you get bored of things in that life you won't okay. right every every time you taste a fruit it will taste better than before right so those things we don't make up ourselves whatever we have in the Quran or authentically established from the Prophet والسلام, then we can base it on that right but even then as the Quran told us as the Prophet told us that these are examples of an existence that is beyond our imagination yeah. so do you believe in a creator or? Uh, actually I do okay good good you got a good step what about you well for me religion's a bit uh, well, I didn't ask about religion. I just asked you, do you believe in a creator? Well, the thing is, I don't know. Uh, You're not sure, huh? Yeah. Uh, he knows. Good. What about you? Third man out. You do. Okay, excellent. So you believe that creator is all-powerful, all-knowing, I'm assuming? Uh, 
Uh, I, that I do not. Okay. Yeah. So that creator created us? Uh, okay, right? Uh, that I also do not. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So what did he create if he's a creator? Right? Uh, all I know is that there's, I believe that there might be a higher power. That's all I know. Okay, cool, cool. Let, okay. Let's take it at that, right? Yeah. Do you believe we kind of just came by ourselves? My answer is I don't know. Okay, you don't know, right? Yeah. But think about it. Let's say if I told you, you're, you're an intelligent gentleman, I can tell. If I told you this phone, nobody made it. Okay. Right? Apple, Samsung, nobody. Okay. Over billions of years, grains of sand made this monitor, made the screen, made the unlocking face recognition feature, made the on off. Uh, all these apps, nobody designed them, nobody downloaded them. The camera, it just all by itself, over billions of years, it just became. Yeah. Would that make sense? It would be hard to believe. Right? It wouldn't make sense, right? Okay. Right? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Because look at the perfection here, right? Like, you mean, there's, there's a, you can tell the time. I mean, how do they just by itself develop a feature to take pictures, right? Do you agree? Or? I am following your line of logic. Okay, good. Yeah. So, in that line of logic, we would say the human eye is much more complicated than that camera. Okay. Right? The human brain is smarter than Siri, right? Yeah. So, to, to know that it doesn't make sense that this came by itself, even with a billions of years of evolution, then how did we come by ourselves over billions of years of evolution, right? Even if you take the theory of evolution, it's a theory, not a fact, right? Fair enough. And if you take the theory of evolution, it can never answer the origin. Like even the origin of man, sure. right? Sure. Because you know the minimum gene concept. Even if you had a single cell organism, it had to have had a minimum set of genes to function. Well, how did, how did that come to be by itself, right? So that's why I think it is logical that there is a creator that created us. Us being here is a sign of that. Right? The intelligent design in the human body, the intelligent design in the universe, in the balance that we live in, shows that there is a creator, right? And will you guys go to school or? Yes. Where do you go to school? Uh, UCSD? UCSD. UCSD. I knew it. It's a good grades, right? <laughs> All right. So at UCSD, uh, what are you majoring in? Psychology. What about you? Uh, electrical engineering. Oh, nice. I eat. Art, nice, that's a fun one. So in electric engineering, let's say you invent something new. Like you design uh, a new phone, unlike any Apple or Samsung, and this new phone, uh, when, you, when you look into it, you can put your finger through it and touch somebody, just an example, right? Yeah. Right, amazing new invention. But obviously it has some things that can destroy it. Like let's say water, like the old iPhones, if it got close to water, it would get destroyed, right? So when you would make that very beautiful, complicated new device, wouldn't you give that with some instructions, yeah. right? So if we have a creator, and you do believe there is a creator, some universal power, right? Wouldn't it make sense that that intelligent creator would give us some instructions to live by? Just like you would, like, and I'm, I'm sure the creator would be more intelligent than you, right? Yeah. Otherwise, imagine with no guidance, where is morality? What's right from wrong? Right? Is, is euthanasia morally correct or not? Is uh, pedophilia correct or not? Is incest correct or not? If we have no guidance, then it's just people's own ideas, right? So that great creator, knowing us better than we know ourselves, just like if you invented something, that great creator sent us guidance. Those are in the form of prophets, like Abraham and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them. They are in the form of holy books, like the Injil that was revealed to Jesus, the Torah to Moses, the Zabur to David, and the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon all of them. We as Muslims, we believe in all of them. We don't disregard any of them. We don't disrespect any of them. We love them. We believe they all brought the same message. But as you know, People changed up that message, right? People like King James, like if you look at a Bible today, most Bibles, you will see it's still King James version. But who's King James? You know, why are we reading his version of the Bible, right? Why did he make a composition? And, and what kind of a moral person was he? You can look him up when you go home, right? If you look at that, many of these books that we are in the Bible today are from unknown authors, right? This is a study Bible, right? And if you go under the chapter called Hebrews, the Christians, professor, what do you want to call him? He says the author of Hebrews is unknown, right? Even under Mark, he says Mark never heard the Lord nor a company, never met Jesus, right? So these are not the true 
teachings of Jesus. These are what people wrote in Koine Greek later and attributed to the disciples, the gospel according to Matthew and so on. But the Quran is the words of Allah, directly revealed to the Prophet, peace and blessings. Not the words of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Not that of the companions, but the words of the Creator, right? Do you have a Quran? You do? No, but... Right. It says that you guys give up free Quran. Yes, that's a Spanish one. Do you have any more English? I don't think we have any more English. Can you Can check? Right uh, anybody have any more of the English? No? I think we're out. Well, you guys go to UCSD, right? So you're in San Diego. You can come by Majd al Uh That's the mosque. Let me give you... Uh, here's the address. We'll get you one. All right. Thank yeah? you. Any other questions you guys have? No. There's a oh, I think that should be it for me. couple of basics. Maybe you can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got them already. Right. You're good. Yeah. Cool. All right. If you have any other questions, let us know. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. It's Spanish. Go for it. Go for it, please. If they speak Spanish, take them for them as well. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, we ran out. <laughs> كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السعائر بادية آمنت أن الآخرة لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السعائر بادية